the repressive administration of President Emerson Numingagwa has fortified the military in preparation to crush the planned August 17 protests in Harare. On Tuesday, Numingagwa announced several initiatives aimed at improving the welfare of Zimbabwe Defense Forces ZDF personnel. This comes as the opposition Citizens Coalition for Change CCC, associated with Nelson Chamisa, claimed to have mobilized over 10,000 people to protest against ongoing human rights abuses by the Harare regime during the upcoming Southern African Development Community SADC Summit. In a clear show of force, Umingagwa last week deployed army tanks in the streets of Harare and Chitungwiza, a move widely seen as an attempt to intimidate potential protesters. During his address at the 44th anniversary of Defense Forces Day at Rufaro Stadium in Harare, Umingagwa announced plans to construct 3,000 housing units for the Defense Forces, along with other non-monetary benefits. He stated, an array of strategies is underway to improve the welfare of members of our defense forces. Non-monetary incentives such as civil service housing loans and the civil service vehicle purchase scheme have been extended to members of the defense forces. Furthermore, my government has expanded the transport fleet for the defense forces through the procurement and delivery of an assortment of vehicles. In addition to housing units that are ready for occupation, the government will soon embark on the construction of 3,000 housing units for members of the ZDF. This is part of my administration's comprehensive program to increase affordable housing stock throughout the country. Imningabwa also emphasized the importance of healthcare for the military, pledging that all military hospitals and health institutions will be equipped with modern equipment and sufficient medicines. He added, Similarly, health care for members of the Defense Forces is of critical importance for their general upkeep. My government is committed to ensuring that all military hospitals and health institutions have the requisite modern equipment and adequate medicines. The construction of the Defense Forces Referral Hospital at Menim Air Force Base is being accelerated. The ZANU-PF government has long been accused of using the military to suppress opposition voices. The administration is known for prioritizing the welfare of CDF members, often providing them with preferential treatment compared to other state employees. In 2017, the military staged a coup that ousted former President Robert Mugabe from power, paving the way for Omningagwa to assume the presidency.